what's up guys before giving you any tips or any any videos about natural hair maybe I should just give you a preview about my journey and where I've come from before we start this is the month of we call it the pink month or the purple month so it's the month of cancer awareness when people ask me what cancer is this is what I tell them cancer is like a rotten potato in a bag of fresh potatoes and we all know that cancer is can fight this cancer thing for ladies go for pap smear it's i think it's free if you have any child i think i'm not sure let's go for cancer screening pap smear and you know let's attack cancer you know together we can do this right yes so i'll be telling you guys about my natural hair journey well, today is my detangling day tomorrow is my wash day these are braid out um my matuta out which I've been having for two weeks now. It needs the lilio. Trust me, you have to have a t-shirt because it's messy and it's annoying. T-shirt. Oh, this is what I use, okay? I use my water. I've already put my coconut oil in here. And so what I'm going to put in is Cantu Leave-In Conditioner. My conditioning treatment, the Moroccan one. Cream of Nature. Yeah, there you go. My story is so simple. Okay, though it's kind of complicated. <laughs> shake, 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 shake. Yep, that's it. What I wanna do is um, section my hair. <sighs> I started growing my hair after high school because in high school we used to shave. Okay, so my hair doesn't have high school history. It was a mixed school. Yeah, you couldn't tell who is a girl and who is a boy. Yeah, after high school, I remember I couldn't wait for my first time to braid. At that time, I didn't know anything about healthy hair. I just wanted long hair. And yeah, I started braiding. I just had no clue about, you know, natural hair. I would blow dry. Bro, bro, bro. Shrubbing. Anyway, I, after every braid out, I would blow dry my hair. And to me, it felt like, oh, this is the best that your hair is doing sis. Growing up I used to have these comments like in, in a in a car still while having kinky hair was just annoying and anyway so in twenty sixteen early early January my friend Cynthia uh showing me about this beautiful girl who had beautiful long kinky hair i remember telling cynthia that this is not her hair i mean that's a wig <laughs> and she told me it was her hair and i was like whoa kinky hair can grow that long so i didn't know anything about shampooing pre-pooing it wash the routine the regime february i first did my hair brown if i was to go back to 2016 i'll still do it because it was fun playing with just hair march came i dyed my hair maroon at this point my hair is weak it has weak ends i thought at that time i'm the pro in hair but no and so i kept cynthia kept on teaching me new stuff new things 2017 came i do literally the, the minimal every time I, I wash my hair the ends would literally hang like this like some devil's hand like you cut us i started talking to my inner self like you need to let go 2018 january I remember it was january 15th <laughs> i just wanted those ends gone the end is in your okay at this point my hair is not growing my hair is stagnant sat down in front of my mirror and i started cutting off my hair best decision i ever made after cutting my hair just went into the shower did my shampoo and my hair was this tiny did some bantu notes i felt like yes now this is the hair you need to start with this is the hair that you've always wanted even though it wasn't that long Trust me, I'm a length chaser. June is my birthday. I was like, every June I have to trim my hair. My hair started growing. 2018 came. I followed the Lazy Natural, but right now she calls herself Osir. Her name was the Lazy Natural. I mean, it was meant for lazy people like me. I just didn't want anything complicated. Do my tutors like the whole of this year, which has been working for me. And if, if anyone asks me right now, like, Nini Mamiya Shanyu Leak, like, my tutor and live in condition. It's a pretty lazy routine. I don't know. Uh, I, I don't really have anything I can tell you that, oh, you need to do this. Oh, 
uh, you need to use rice water no all those are lies let me just be honest with you guys just find a routine find what works for you and stick to it trust me there is something for you that's why it's called a journey your hair is like a baby you different babies have different routines there are still things i'm learning about my hair and i'm like wow i didn't know that i look back at 2016 and i'm like wow 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 wow, wow. you really thought you, that you were having natural hair <laughs> like listen listen very carefully don't ever detangle your hair when it's dry let me show you an example okay do you see how those strands are tangled up no it's like literally ripping off your hair intentionally like you to nikaku jambia let me just pause and rip my hair let's do some length check breast length oh. somewhere here I take approximately one hour to detangle my hair. Okay. And this is the total amount of hair that I lost. Leave a comment down below what you'd like to see more about natural hair. As long as I can do it, I'll give it to you. Okay, that's it. That's it. Uh, 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 uh. Stay healthy. Stay positive. See you next time. Let's hug it out. Hugs. <laughs> you, these are all hairstyle for me. See you guys next time.